Hey everybody, I've been working on this O2 GMC Denali that got towed in because it was having some type of idle problem that another shop looked at. They put a gas pedal in it, but it didn't seem to fix the problem. So then they told the guy that it needed the electronic throttle body. So then a guy towed it home, it sat at his house for a couple months, and then it came here and um, the guy hooked up with somebody that junking one, so he got all the parts off the junk one, and we know they're known good parts. So I went ahead and put the electronic throttle body on, and it did the exact same thing. You get in the car, you start it up, it revs up to 4,000 RPMs, it hits the rev limiter, the built-in rev limiter, and goes wah, 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 4,000 RPMs, and then it goes into limping mode and then it runs terrible you can't even drive it so i tried putting a, the, the known good throttle body on it it didn't work i put the controller on it it didn't work so i start thinking about it i go you know it's acting like it's got a vacuum leak you know so i kind of did a visual inspection of the intake manifold couldn't find anything couldn't find anything i checked some of the wiring that all came out good so then i said you know something let's smoke this intake manifold there's got to be a vacuum leak so basically, here's the intake manifold right here. So I went ahead and smoke tested it, and I had smoke rolling out of the bottom of the intake manifold. Let me flip it up here, let me show you what I found. It's right here on the passenger side second cylinder, which is number four. There is a big melted hole in the bottom of the manifold. And of course, the computer was setting the code for uh, for the idle speed control circuit. Well, of course, you got all this unmetered air coming in and the car couldn't couldn't tune, they couldn't close the throttle body far enough to get the car to idle. So this one needs an intake manifold. So if you have one that's going crazy like that, sometimes you gotta go back to basics and the basics tell you that you have a vacuum leak somewhere on the other side of the throttle body. I hope this one helps everybody out because I was kind of pulling my hair apart going, well, what's going on? Somebody else looked at it and said it needed this, but actually you cannot always trust what other people say. You need to check them out for yourself. All right, everybody. I hope this helps everybody. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.